we will be calling the top company, the umbrella company, Lloyds Banking Group. Uh, and it will be a great British bank and one that will be able to compete globally. Uh, the franchises of both Lloyds TSB and HBOS are very strong and together will give an unrivaled distribution network for our customers. Um, as you know, we've always put customers at the heart of everything uh, that we do. You've heard before about how we reckon that our success is based on uh, relationship banking and, and that relationship banking will continue to be at the heart of all that the Enlarge Group does. On top of that, um, and you'll hear a little bit more from Eric in a minute, we will have in the Enlarge Group great capital strength and diverse funding capabilities. It means that Lloyd's TSB, which has already demonstrated a strong track record of delivery with a prudent risk appetite, will be well positioned uh, for the future. Um, can I just turn on turn for a moment to two important um, matters. Um, firstly, you will hear from Eric that we have been able to provide a clear path to dividend resumption for our shareholders. The acquisition of HBOS is a great opportunity for the group to create long-term value for our shareholders, but global financial markets are facing an unprecedented series of challenges. In order to make sure that we uh, complete Effectively and early the whole acquisition, the board believes that the best and most certain funding option is to utilise the government's funding proposal. There are a number of conditions attached, as you know, to the issue of the preference shares, the most meaningful being that relating to dividend payments. But we have found a very clear path to, res to the resumption of dividend payments. More in a minute. Secondly, can I just turn brief touch briefly on our relationship with government? The group has a very good relationship with government and we were very pleased to see last week's recognition by the Prime Minister that we are a very strong bank. In all our discussions with Treasury, it's been clear to us that they see themselves very much as an arm's length but value oriented shareholder. They are as keen as we are to see the repayment of the preference shares and growth in value of the ordinary shares. They're marking the way in which they look at the shareholding by setting up an independent group outside government and outside Treasury to look after their shareholder, which will, and that management will take place on a commercial basis. Government has also uh, indicated to us that they'd like to see an enlarged board and have asked that we appoint two new independent non-executive directors. That process we have started... It will be done by us in consultation with the Treasury, but the new directors will have precisely the same role and responsibilities as any other director. Uh, that said, let me pass over to Eric for a few comments. Thanks, Victor. Uh, what I thought I'd do is spend just a couple of seconds on the uh, interim management statement. Uh, as you know, we gave a trading update this morning, and I think that uh, probably at a headline level, uh, what I tell you is that we're continuing to have very good growth from the core businesses, uh, despite the more difficult environment. Pretty clearly, our statutory earnings will be impacted by uh, both the market dislocation, uh, the very difficult markets that we're experiencing, as well as uh, insurance volatility, but we remain on track uh, to deliver a good trading performance for 2008. Uh, then let me turn to the acquisition briefly. I think that, uh, as Victor said, we really are at a unique moment in time. Uh, this is a compelling transaction. Very clearly, uh, one of the things that uh, we did was, as we went through our diligence, uh, we wanted to uh, ensure ourselves on three fronts. Uh, the first was capital, second was funding, the third were impairments. Uh, and I'm very happy to report that after uh, 5,100 days of uh, diligence and uh, verification <laughs> of the uh, impairment levels, uh, we feel very comfortable with the combined entity. Uh, on capital, as you know, we're among the best capitalized banks in the world with a 14% uh, overall capital ratio and over 7% on a pro forma basis of core tier one. 
In terms of funding, uh, we feel, again, very comfortable. Uh, Lloyd's, as you know, uh, has had two very successful transactions over the last couple of weeks. Uh, the first was a collateralized loan obligation for about a billion euro. Uh, this was the first uh, such transaction post Lehman, uh, and I think uh, is, is a testament to our funding strength. The other is uh, we had a 10-year uh, uh, £400 million pound note uh, go out unguaranteed and that was very successfully placed. So uh, capital, uh, we believe we're in very good shape, funding in great shape. And on the impairments, uh, as I said, we believe that our fair value accounting uh, and uh, now very good understanding of the HBOS books stands, stands us in good stead. Uh, as Victor mentioned, uh, we uh, basically have a clear path toward uh, extinguishing the PREFs during 2009. Uh, and what we will look to do is to review our dividend policy uh, once we have extinguished uh, the preference uh, shares from government. Uh, also, as Victor said, we have an excellent relationship with government. Uh, what we believe is they will be value-oriented shareholders, and we don't believe that they will have an impact on our lending policies or our conduct of business uh, with uh, their being on our shareholder register. Very clearly, there are lots of programs which government is interested in, which we share an interest in. Uh, for example, keeping people in their homes. But we don't see this as being something that would go beyond what we would normally do.